order of mistake. If you succeeded in the first trial, and have now decided to get every key of the thirteen keys, you are insane. If you really want to do this, leave the church and go to a park, any park, and then eat the apple. As you bite into the apple's peel, you will taste blood in your mouth. In this instant, whispers will fill your head. Millions of voices in pain telling you to stop, to help them. Millions of minds breaking. The sound of madness. Do not stop eating or it will be your end. Your existence will be over. No one will ever remember that one day you existed. As you swallow the pieces of the apple, the pieces scratch your throat. It burns like fire. Now, the pain that you are feeling is your soul breaking. This is the price for what you have done. For what you are going to do. When the voices stop, you should have finished the apple. Keep the seeds. You will need them. If the voices keep silent, run. Don't stop running until you find a current of running water. Throw the seeds in and say, I am already not the one who seeks. My fate is sealed and my soul succumbs. Let the water choose the desire, the path, and the way. If you succeeded, the water will turn pitch black and the seeds will disappear. You are safe, but you condemned an innocent soul. From this moment forward, you will never be able to do any of these tasks again. You failed. You are not worthy. For now you are safe, but when you die, the voices will come and you will pay. Your soul will not go to hell or heaven. You are going to be trapped for eternity, tormented by the voices without rest, fearing every moment of your existence. On the other hand, if the voices start to laugh, you are safe. For now, guard the seeds and close your eyes. You will be able to hear the voices talking to each other. He really did it. Is he the one? Everything is over. Fool, it is starting. When the voices stop, open your eyes. You will find yourself in front of a shining grey door. Open it. If you hear anything over you, don't look. No matter what the voice the creature imitates, he is trying to stop you. It doesn't matter what he does or says. Don't turn around. Open the door and enter. This room is filled with glassware. Small and big pots with fetuses and pieces of bodies from every form of life that exists. Walk through the labyrinth of shelves and make your way to the table that has an empty pot. Put the seeds there. Suddenly, a hand grabs your arm and says, There is no turning back. You are already broken. Say in response, I know, but the right and the easy are not the same. Turn to see the person. Some people say that the keeper changes his form to what is in our subconscious. He sees our innermost desires and fears and changes his form accordingly. So what you will see can be good and beauty, but can also be evil incarnate. 
it changes from person to person. The keeper will be smiling and will say, You are a fool. So you take the key and try to survive. But no, this is a mistake. He, she, it will hand you an hourglass. This is the key two of thirteen. The only way to prevent the end. The room will start to collapse. If you succeed to escape all the way to the real world, you are free to choose if you want to continue or not. But you are already doomed. What you've done doesn't have forgiveness.